this is the chupacabra. The chupacabra is a goat sucking monster that will attack sheep and goats. So yeah. And this is what he looks like. He's slow too. And he gives you weakness. Pretty much almost all of them give weakness. So if you have a goat here and this chupacabra, he will attack the goat and goes after it. And with sheep, does the same thing. Now he spawns like those air biomes, someone like Mexico kind of looking thing biomes. I don't know, like the sandy brown desert thing. I don't know. So yeah, that's the chupacabra. Chupacabra. Next is the devil monkey. The devil monkey is a cryptid that, um, the beyond I don't know. I don't know. I just saw it in an episode of Lost Tapes, and it pretty much scared me when I was a kid. So these spawn the jungle biomes, and this is what they look like. And yeah, they're working projects as well. Their arms go up and they swing around like that, like a monkey. And yeah. But he is a working project. The part is supposed to be down a little more, but still. So yeah, so he swings his arm around like a monkey, like a man monkey, and he attacks you. He only takes one heart for heart, so he's not really that strong, and you can get away with him. So he takes one, two, three, three hits, but with wooden sword. One, two, three, four, four hits to take him down. So he goes after players and anything that lives in the jungle. We're done with the devil monkey. Moving on to the sea creature. So we're going to have to travel to sea. So we got the Loch Ness Monster and an engine. So I'm not going to make second trip. So I'm going to jump them off to the, dead, to the ocean. Alright. So here's the Loch Ness Monster. The Loch Ness Monster will sit at one point, uh, doesn't move around, and that's why I'm trying to figure it out. So the Loch Ness Monster takes the model from a dolphin. So the dolphin, yeah, he doesn't move. I don't understand. So he's supposed to move around like swim like this, but you can melt him like this, and you need a stick. Uh, let me go get wood. So, these are very friendly. Why did you guys spawn? Why did... Okay, so they supposed to spawn in here, this biome, the ocean biome. But the weirdest thing, they spawn right there like you guys saw it. And they drop fish. Oh yeah, I'm agreeing what I'm doing. So you get a stick and then... Boom, you can ride them. They're very friendly too, so yeah. So these are the only mobs you can ride. Water can go down. I don't know. Like so that's the Loch Ness Monster. Or Loch Ness. So next, the Ninjin. The Ninjin spawns in the ocean biome. And also he spawns in the, um... The... Ice biome, too. So, yeah. This is what the Ninjin looks like. The Ninjin is a boss, so... Yeah, he swims down bottom. He swims pretty big. He's pretty big. He taxes squids, players... And, um, I forget their, their, but yeah, so he attacks those. So, how much hearts does he take down? We're going to find out right now. So, the ninja will spawn in the ocean mines. So, we're going to get close if we can. If it can attack us.
I'm gonna attack me. Attack you. I just gotta find your hitbox. Right there, your tail. Oh, that takes one heart. So the tail is the weakness. And he gives you slowness, so you can sink. For at least eight minutes, or eight seconds, you say. And once he starts attacking you, you're done for. Because he has a big knockback and doesn't let you get a chance to get to him. Got him. So you probably need some arrows to take him down. And I'm dead. Now to our better boss, the Jersey Devil, and the Thunderbird Remix. So look, you've seen, the Jersey Devil spawns in natural woods, and that's it. There's natural woods. So this is what the Jersey Devil looks like. He carries this sword, so if you want to get this sword quickly, you gotta find him and take him down. So it's with wood, he takes like one... Well, you should see how much it takes. So he's not really that strong. He gives you the weather effect. So yeah, not really that good. And then you use this sword against him, so it takes a little bit quicker. And I'm dying. Goodbye. And I'm still working on the models. So yeah, here's the Thunderbird. Thunderbird spawns in flat biomes. That's where he spawns at. He spawns anywhere. And so this is the Thunderbird. He's his third boss. So they're pretty much like three bosses. And his model is like the Mothman just flies around. You need some bow and arrows to take him down. And that's it. And then we get our guesses. Our guesses. So. Yeah. Like we've seen before. Jepolo. He hops around, he just hops around being silly. And he's pretty weak. So yeah, he's like he has the same amount of health as a rabbit. And he drops where the rabbit drops. And this is the first shit and giggles. Yeah. So we're gonna head to more closer to the woods. Oh god, he spawned there. He spawned. Got him. Now this is a made- I thought you guys spawned in the desert! That's not fair! Raid spawned him. Yep. Slenderman. He's a fake encrypted, but- But it's good to have Slenderman around. But it's called the Guest Cryptid, so. But we know who he is. Now, this sound effects I'm still working on getting yet. So. And he does not spawn. Because he's a guest. So the only spawn him is by naturally spawning him for great mode. So, yeah. Never mind. This is the end of the video. Hope you guys like it. This is part two of the Cryptids mod. And I hope you guys like part one too. So make sure you like and comment subscribe for both videos. And I will upload this mod once I fix the bugs and all that to Craftycraft. So make sure you get ready to do that. And like I said in the part one, I hope Craftycraft makes an Android version and also make it where the NPCs can, like, you know. Add sounds and stuff to them. Because it's kind of weird how to do it without no sounds. And I know you can do it with the zombies, but I just don't like doing that way. It's just, I don't want to start over. I work hard on this mod, so yeah. So I hope Craftcraft does that. Make an Android version and add no sound effects for the NPCs. So, yeah.
So I hope you guys like it. Comment, subscribe for more videos. And please let me know what do you want me to do next. Just comment below and just tell me. I will do it when I get a chance to. But I will do it. Don't worry. Oh yeah, I forgot he opened doors. That was random. And I almost forgot. Make it where an option where they don't have to open doors where they could break doors. I want that option too for the NPCs. So yeah, so there's two things I like to have the NPCs do. Make their own noises and have it where we can make it where they can't open doors because that's kind of annoying. So I'll see you guys next time.